Welcome back, everybody. There's so many things that you need to know about your money, and I want you to know every single thing about your money. So we always give you different ways to write in or be on the Susie Orman Show, and right now it's via the email section. So come in here, our boyfriend. This is Lou, everybody. Lou Hi, manages Susie. the floor here for us mm -hmm. at CNBC on That's the true. Susie Orman Show and many other things. I have a, can I, can I bring something up? You can do anything Very you good. want. Yeah. Uh, this being on TV thing, yeah. it's a little new for me. Yeah, yeah. So I got critiqued. I wore a plaid shirt last time. Plaid shirt was no good. I was so going to tell you that, but I was yeah, being I know, nice I, to you. Because right, I don't want to be accused <laughs> of being mean again to somebody. Right, no, I was like not, going, that's it's, a it's dorky fine, shirt. But it's, you know, then I have to go home. I have to worry about it. I don't have a wardrobe. I have, I have I wore, I, I got to lift set pieces. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, then, and then smile. I had to smile more. And put makeup on. And, oh, and put the makeup on, too. Yeah. What's that feel like for a man it's, to put makeup on? It, I don't like the smell. You don't like the smell? Does no. makeup smell? Uh, it has a it has a smell. Can I smell you? Let me smell you. You want to smell? Okay, one second. Oh, he's right. He yeah, has a it has, smell. it has a. Are you sure that's makeup? <laughs> not <laughs> sorry, my everybody. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, all right. All right, here we go. Ready? But but you look cute in your well, t-shirt today. Thank you. thank you, and I'm gonna smile more. You have little muscles there, huh? A little bit. A little bit. That will work out. Maybe. All right. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Kathleen in northern New Jersey. I have been paying only the minimum on my adjustable rate mortgage because of my financial obligations. But because of the interest, my mortgage balance is higher now than when I refinanced two years ago. I would like to get my mortgage balance down so I can refinance to a fixed rate mortgage with a payment I can afford. So I would like to know. Is it better to pay additional principal or additional interest on my adjustable rate mortgage? Yeah, well, you're not watching the Susie Orman show over all these years when I've been saying to you, don't do negative amortization loans. Don't do adjustable rate mortgage loans that adjust every year. Don't do it, don't do it. And then you do it, and now you write in, and now how do we fix it? Obviously, you should be paying down the principal because if you pay down the principal, that might allow you to be able to refinance. Another thing that you could do is, is there any place that you could come up with enough money to get you to back even again so that if you, if you did refinance, you'd be okay? Has the house appreciated in value since you purchased it? Because maybe if it's appreciated in value since you purchased it, Hey, who knows? You might be able to refinance, but girlfriend, you are in trouble. You have to, at least at this point, be paying enough money so that you don't continue to see your loan increase because it's going to continue to do so. So you need to come up with that money and make it your number one priority. Do you got that? Here's what's so sad. Here's what's sad. Mm -hmm. the, nothing upsets me more than when people write in or call in and I really can't help them. I can't help them. What are you going to do? You owe money. Your mortgage is increasing. The house is worth less than you owe. Why? Because you haven't been paying what you should have been paid because all your other bills, what were they doing buying a house? Anyway, does that depress you as much as me? Yeah. yeah. I've seen it happen to people in my family, friends, get in over their head. And then what happens? Then they just, you know, they, do they suffer. Ever, do they ever come to you and want to borrow money? Uh, uh, I've, had, I've had, uh, yeah, I've had that. And do you think it's easier for a man to say no than a woman? I couldn't say. You couldn't how say. Can I, how could I say? Was I talking about money there? Uh, no. no, no. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> you no, weren't no. talking about money at all. No, I was. But it's true. I think it's, it's easier for a man to look at a friend and say, no, I'm not going to lend you money, than it is for a woman to look at a friend and say, no, I'm not going to lend you money. But so, did you know I thought that? I did not know that. But I did know the answer to that. Oh, well, there you go. The how'd, I, there. how'd I do? Good. Good job. Oh, fine. Thank you. All right. Nice. So now, now that I did a good job, yeah. all right, we can Let's go. So everybody, thank God Lou approves of my answers. Anyway, here's the true bottom line. You gotta know what you're doing with your money. You gotta know before you get into trouble, which is why it is so important that you watch the Suzy Orman Show every Saturday night. So until next time, there's only one thing that I want you to remember when it comes to your money, and it's this. People first, then money, then things. Now you stay.